Hi guys, uh, Jilly Cube coming to you with an acrylic pour from Queensland, Australia on the Sunshine Coast. Just um, got back in my studio today. It's been a really, really hot day here. I think it was 34 degrees, which may be in the 90s um, Fahrenheit, I believe. So very hot day and today I'm going to do um, a pour on a round canvas. I will just tell you the size. It is it is 40.6 centimetres round. I just had these colours um, that reminded me of an Hawaiian sunset. I suppose it can still be an Australian sunset because we have these lovely coloured sunset. So I'm going to try and do on this pour kind of what I'm going to call a sunset pour. But as you know, things don't go to plan in art or life <laughs> uh, for that matter. So I have it in mind, but whether it turns a different direction, that's what I love about, about um, being in my studio because things can turn and you've literally just go with it so 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 i've mixed up some colors they're all of my montmartre studio acrylics mixed with the i mix these ones with the uh, clear pva craft glue uh, the pouring recipe there's a little drop down box underneath all of my videos and you will see my pouring um, medium recipe plus my supply online supplier in australia there is also links to um, US, Canada. I've now added on my drop down box links to my playlist for beginners uh, videos. So if you are a beginner, instead of asking the questions, how much of this? Okay, that's the gecko saying hi. That's Jerry. Should we call him Jerry the gecko? Um, saying hi as he normally does but yeah so rather than ask me questions of the pouring medium and did you had uh, it'll all be there and also the playlist for you to click on for beginners uh, videos or or just videos that you want to know my pouring medium and tips and tricks so it's all there now okay let's get this show on the road so this is an orange that I put some yellow in so like I said, I want to go with the sunsetty colours. But that could change. It could change. At this moment I will um Yeah, just go literally go with the flow. See what presents itself. So so so. Oh, okay. So that's kind of nice, bright, uplifting colour. The next one I'm going to add in there, of course, is another bright, uplifting colour. So it reminds me of holiday times. I don't know why. I just love the bright colours. I really do. So this is the yellow. Nice, bright yellow. These, doing the art on these rounds, these rounds usually always sell quite well if you want to, if you're into selling your art. They're also uh, great for uh, gifting, if you want to gift your art. So they're, you know, a nice, they're not too expensive and they, they make a nice gift or they sell really well. So you've got added bonus there. Putting in some white just as a contrast. And then this is the cool red, but it's kind of gone a bit like a pinkish. I'm not sure why, because I didn't have anything else in the cup. But I just want to. Just felt like doing sunsetty colour, so here we go. Alrighty. Alrighty. Just got this resting on a bit of polystyrene that I had packing rather than um, use anything else at this time so it's just 
This is a nice easy beginner's pour because there's nothing really complicated about it as long as you read the instructions for mixing your paints. Um, you shouldn't have too much difficulty doing this particular style of pour. Um, I believe it's quite, you know, it's quite easy. It's just getting your consistencies correct on your paints. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just gently um, tilting it around the canvas. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, it's probably good to put push giant push pins underneath of your canvas. It just gives you um, basically somewhere to hang on to when you're tilting. That's what I find, and I haven't been prepared, and I haven't done it. Well, I was prepared, but I thought I'd just use that bit of polystyrene packing to as my little, um, basically a little tray to pour on that lifted up off my pad so so bring my pad back okay see what we've got here just checking that all your sides just lift up some paint onto your finger and just finger pop the side another nice thing to do is go around with a little but a tiny balloon the little water filled balloon and dab the sides with the paint that's off the bottom because that gives a really nice effect i like those colors as they are If you wanted to do that painting and the simple um, simple beginners pour to do to do it like that and tilt it around because it still if you put in the colors on your canvas that you particularly like just an abstract like that can be very very appealing to many so so I'm just trying to think if I will add just a little bit of blue so I can kind of keep that the sunset and then a line of blue as though it's the ocean below so we'll see well I'll just see how we go with it maybe need a little bit thicker a bit thicker than some Just trying to do a bit of demarcation so it hopefully looks like the ocean and the sunset. Okay, one little thing I may do with this to give it a bit of an oceany feel is I could, I could could do a bit of white in it so it's and just swipe the blue slightly ah oh, where's my little tool can't tim the tool man actually i might try i might try the um this is a silicon pastry brush and i've used this in other particular pores before so i'm going to try my silicon pastry brush it just sort of going over the blue and the white in a way. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Okay, a little bit more white to swipe with the blue. Just taking it nice and easy. Just enjoy your process. So I'm just hoping that I haven't got too much paint on my pastry brush that's going to muddy my other colours up. Shall I keep going with it? Let me know what you think guys. So these little pastry brushes, so cheap, they were just from a discount shop and they're yeah used for brushing pastry over I suppose. Now I'm sending it a bit too colourful I think on the bottom.
don't want to do it all, she said, but that's looking quite nice. I'm liking it. What I may do is a little bit, get my, this is just um, stainless steel straw with the silicon tip that you would normally um, use that, put that bit in your mouth, but I like it because it's got an angle and you can blow a bit. So here goes. It kind of looked like waves splashing. If it does my way, I'll have to turn it around for you. Looking a bit hectic here. Wild seas and crazy skies. I don't kind of like it. Kind of like it. Let's see if I need to. It's just adding a little bit of softness to the hard edges, so just keep trying. I'm liking it. Oh, I've got a bit dizzy. <laughs> I should have done the wise thing and got my little air gun out. Okay, I might try turning that around so you can have a look at it from both. It obviously has gone way off again by from looking like a sun, uh, Hawaiian sunset to a pizza. But, oh, yeah. I'm going right off tether, but I actually like it. I like the effect, it's colourful, it's joyful. Just wondering, I have a little bit of, um, I'm just gonna try it in a little edge here. I have this little bit of, it was a dark chocolate ground mixed with Floetrol and it makes a lace. I just want to see if I add a, dr a drop, a drop, a drop, if it, if it sort of makes it, when I blow it, if it makes it bloom. Okay, no, not really. That's okay. It doesn't look too bad. Okay, let me know what you think of this pizza. Pizza, pizza. Well, the only thing I can say about it, it's really joyful colours and it really kind of makes me feel that the blue, I should go on further with the blue because um, and make it look the same as I've got on the corner closest to you, the end closest to you guys. It makes me feel that I should do that, but um, I think I will leave that as it is. I know what you're saying. Oh, she'll come back. She'll come back.
why don't you do something else to it? Well, I will have a think about it. If you don't see me, I didn't come back. But I will add photos to the end. I hope you like it because it's kind of, it's, it's a joyful, uplifting piece, I believe. It would brighten somebody's little side wall because it's so pleasant. Um, and gifting it is one of the best things that you can possibly do is to gift your art it's, it's as well as obviously you need to sell to buy your paints as my husband says but um, gifting it is a really nice thing to do so guys I am so grateful for you all I'm thanking you for subscribing if you haven't done so please do so until the next exciting thing that I can think up in my brain that I would like to do. So thanks guys for joining me. Until next time, bye for now.